So as far as the way that I practice, I practiced for the first uh, many years of my practice just as what I would say a regular chiropractor. I would say even old-fashioned chiropractic, just me and my hands. I started doing a lot of functional medicine in terms of uh, continued education, functional neurology, functional immunology, and so on. And I added a lot of clinical nutrition component to my practice, uh, probably by my fourth or fifth year. Uh, in my 18th year, I added photobiomodulation to my practice. And, uh, and so the last couple of years, I've had that benefit. And uh, now that's become a, a mainstay in my practice. I would say it's the most important part of my practice. In my first few years of practice, um, I had a veterinarian uh, ended up coming in as a patient of mine. And he was already uh, having wonderful results using uh, low-level laser therapy, as it was referred to then. And so that is where I really started paying a lot of attention because I knew there could be no placebo effect in dogs and horses and so on. And, uh, and also just hearing the stories as far as you know, how effective it was in not just you know, relieving pain, but also facilitating healing and repair of tissues. And so I've had my eye on it really since then, and I was kind of slow to adopt it because I was getting kind of, I kept hearing that the technology was about to get better. And then the class 3B came out and the class 4 and so on until finally, from all of the colleagues that I talked to, and I do a lot of continued education. I, I usually do at least 100 to 200 hours a year in a lot of different fields and subspecialties and so on, especially in functional medicine. But I do a lot of orthopedic rehab in the past. I've taken uh, hundreds of hours of continued education in traumatic brain injury. Uh, and transcranial laser became a big uh, topic and a common topic. And so I had f heard that there was going to be, uh, the, there, was, there was about to be a whole body application that was coming out. So I really knew that I would be bringing that in. I first brought in a class four laser uh, tabletop or handheld unit and it completely changed my results and I was completely convinced that you know I, I would never practice without uh, photobiomodulation again and I really don't think that uh, that physical therapy or chiropractic should be done without the benefit of photobiomodulation because it's that instrumental and, and it's that game-changing so I had my handheld or tabletop uh, laser for a couple of years before um, the Novothor came out and then I was I think an early adopter in the Novothor field. I think I was one of the early, earlier ones to the game, but I, I brought that into the office and it's, it's completely revolutionized the kind of results that I can get. And I can now treat patients for, with conditions that I would have zero impact on in the past, that I just was completely helpless uh, to, to contribute anything to their well-being. And now it's opened up a lot of, a lot of doors in terms of uh, therapeutic options and clinical utility that I, that I never had before. And I don't think that um, that it's it can be understood until it's actually experienced. You know, both from a clinician standpoint, and especially as a client standpoint or a patient standpoint.